Right now at 6 o'clock, strong statements from Jacksonville Sheriff responding to a wave of shooting deaths that included two small children. I vow to you that this agency will not rest until you're held accountable for your crimes. You took the lives of innocent children. Now, one day later, some local community leaders are pushing back against the sheriff's comments. This is after a six-year-old boy was shot and killed early yesterday morning at an apartment complex in the Lackawanna neighborhood. His death marks the ninth child shot and killed in Jacksonville so far this year. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us with those responses from leaders who say, Marilyn, they are a part of this fight against violence in our city. Yes, but the sheriff asked where they are. They responded by saying they've been here where they always have been. But what I noticed is that they're fighting the same fight, just in different ways. Community leaders firing back at Sheriff TK Waters. He said this yesterday. Where are the other leaders in town that have the opportunity to stand here with me today? I didn't call them, but have the why, why aren't they speaking up? We heard from them a few weeks ago. We followed up with him today. Has anyone reached out to you since you made that statement yesterday? No, not at all. Um, and, and that's fine. We reached out to State Representative Angie Nixon after Sheriff Waters said leaders' reactions to the death of children aren't as strong as the outrage after the racist attack last month. So it would be great if the sheriff could stop being politically divisive, right, and actually go out and try to solve the murder the, uh, of, of these two babies. The sheriff says his officers are working around the clock on these cases. Nixon says she's outraged by the shootings, but feel we should look at the root causes to a lot of the violence happening. She advocates for programs to give people resources like mental health, jobs, and more to help reduce crime. We have to make sure that all of our communities and everyone that lives within them have the opportunity to live healthy, prosperous, and safe. When that happens, people don't resort to a life of crime. The sheriff was asked if a lack of economic resources and systemic racism plays into why these shootings happen. Name me a legitimate excuse for murder, for taking someone's loved one. There, there isn't one. I don't care what the issues are that lead to it. We have a responsibility as civil human beings, a civilized society, not to murder each other, mm -hmm. not to murder kids. So what about the argument that if we solve the why, that we wouldn't have more victims? It's not my job to solve the why. The sheriff wants to focus on why this happens at a later time. It's his job to make the arrests. But Nixon says we can't arrest our way out of the real problems. Angie Nixon also told me she wished the sheriff would have reached out to some of those leaders before making those statements. We got a statement from the Northside Coalition. They feel the sheriff chastised the community with their statements. And in this statement, it is a strong and bold message back to the sheriff that reads in part, you are doing the same things over and over and expecting a different result. And then when you aren't able to prevent the group violence that occurs, you have a press conference to lash out at the community. That is an outrage. You can read more of this statement on newsforjacks.com, including a statement from Mayor Donna Deegan following these incidents. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.